Hi everyone, I'm Erica Reyes. I'm one of the applications engineers here at RKI Instruments and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'll show you how to do a calibration on our GX6000 benzene detector. What I have here, this is a six gas actually, so it has LEL, O2, H2S, CO, VOC for a benzene, and the other PID, our 10.6, uh, 0 to 6,000 PID lamp. I also have a 5 ppm benzene cylinder right here. Uh, this is our tube holder for benzene, and this is our benzene tubes. It has, a, it's a box of 10 tubes, um, has our expiration date and everything there, so you want, you want to check that before you use it. So let's start the calibration. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the monitor. Right now, you can see I am in calibration mode. So the Cal C limit pops up. You just press power enter and you go into this screen immediately. So what I want to do is do an auto calibration using 5 ppm benzene and then do a tube cal using the actual tube and benzene tubes. So if I go to auto cal right now, go to gas select, I want to choose benzene. So I want to do VOC, make sure it says 5 ppm. I'm going to go into that menu. Right now you can see it says isobutylene. This is what you might see if you don't have it chosen. So let's go ahead and set it up so that benzene shows up in this screen. So I'm just going to hit OK. I'm going to hit display to go back and escape. And I'm going to go to normal mode because that's where you want to go to choose benzene. And here I'm going to press reset so it goes into normal mode. And it just shows your gases right here. My Smart 2 is actually set to benzene, which you can do but you can't really use benzene mode on that meter, on that uh, option. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and press display. This is the display mode of the instrument. And that's where you do your benzene measurements. So you wanna press display again. And right now, as you can see, it says PID set to isobutylene 10.0 EV. So that's what I wanna change. So I'm gonna press enter and I'm gonna look for benzene on that list. Press enter and it'll say end. And there you go, PID set to benzene. So I'm gonna go and exit by pressing reset. And that's my normal mode. And then we can go to cal mode now. So that's shift and display, cal mode. I'm gonna go to auto cal. And as you can see here in a little bit, VOC, there you go, benzene shows up there now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a calibration on the benzene using AutoCal. So just press power. And now you can put in your gas. So right now I'm applying the gas and it's showing 4.57. So you just wanna wait for that reading to stabilize. Mine's pretty stable at that point. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press power, enter. And there you go, it adjusted it, it says pass. It adjusted it to 5 ppm and you can take off your gas and it'll go back to the auto count menu. So after that, you can go ahead and press escape. Once you're done, you wanna do a tube cal. So you wanna scroll down the tube cal, press power, and it'll ask you to install the tube and the holder. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So now I have my tube holder right here and the benzene tube. You wanna break both ends there so you wanna use this little red tube breaker and there you go. The tips just get stored there. And what you wanna do is you wanna press out and that just comes out. And I'm gonna install the tube on the top part actually. And it only goes one way, so I wanna match the arrows that way. There you go. And there you go, once you hear that click, it's good to go. So 
I'm going to go and install the tube holder. There's just a quick connect, so you pull it back and you release. And that is it. So right now it says install tube and holder. I'm going to press power. Again, pick auto cal. I'm going to do, make sure your concentration is good. So yeah, that's not supposed to be 54. It's supposed to be five. So good thing I checked that. And this might take a while here. Just pressing and holding the down button. Make sure. Eight, seven, six, oops. Seven, eight, eight, nine, ninety. And there you go, 5 ppm. So I'm gonna press enter and make sure that is it. And, and I'm gonna go ahead and start Cal. And once it actually flashes apply gas, so you could go ahead and apply the gas. Let's do that. So you wanna apply the gas while with the tube on. That way it takes into account the amount of benzene that the tube actually absorbs and your calibration would be more accurate that way. So this is the best way to calibrate your benzene tube is with a 5 ppm benzene cylinder. And again, just like in AutoCal, you just wait for it to stabilize. Oh, actually it kind of counts down and it passes. So that means even though it was reading three, as you can see, it adjusted it to five. And so I could take off my gas. And again, you would want to go to escape and it will ask you to remove the tube holder. And so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to press enter once I did and it'll go back to the cal mode. And that's pretty much how you would calibrate your benzene uh, detector directly to benzene.